Hello and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today I'm going to be talking about the mysterious disappearance of Louis Le Prince who was a French inventor and artist. He's well known here in Leeds which is where I'm from. He's well known here as he filmed the first ever motion picture at Round Air Park which is called the Round Air Park Garden Scene. If he had not mysteriously disappeared, he would most definitely be credited as the father of cinematography. However, that is not the case. In most, most people do not know him as that. And he was essentially erased from history when he disappeared. Louis Le Prince was born in Metz, France on the 28th of August 1841. He grew up spending lots of time with his father's close friend, Louis, from his father's friend, who was a pioneer in photography and invented many things. Le Prince received lessons in photography and chemistry, and it no doubt paved his way for his future inventions. Le Prince went on to study painting in Paris and chemistry and physics at university and then he worked as a painter and a photographer. In 1866 he moved to Leeds, West Yorkshire, after being offered a job by his college friend John Whitley. The job was at a company in Hunslet which was a brass founding firm. I don't know what that is, I'm stupid. Three years later in 1869 he went on to marry John's sister Elizabeth Whitley and in 1871 they opened the Leeds Technical School of Arts together. Uh, their work here led them to be commissioned for portraits of Queen Victoria and other very important people of the time. In 1881 Le Prince and his family moved to the US for a period of time and while here he began experiments relating to creating moving pictures and started designing his 16 lens camera. He returned to Leeds in 1887 and built his single lens camera in 1888. An updated version of this would be used on the 14th of October 1888 to film the world's first motion picture, the Round Air Park garden scene, amongst others. For the next two years, he would continue to film various motion pictures and project them in his home, which his children remembered watching as they grew up. Sadly, though, he never got to share these projections with the world. In December 1890, Louis planned to return to Leeds to gather his inventions ahead of a visit to New York to publicly present his work. Louis decided to visit family and friends and on September 13th visited his brother in Dijon, France. After this visit he was due to visit Paris on the 16th of September. However he never arrived. He was last seen by his brother boarding the train from Dijon to Paris and it was never seen again. Despite many searches by Scotland Yard and the French police, nothing was ever found and he simply vanished into thin air along with his briefcase which held very important papers for patents that he planned to submit. There are many theories relating to what may have happened to Louis Le Prince. However, none of these fully explain what happened to him in my opinion. So just keep that in mind it's still a mystery so the first theory the first theory is that he was murdered by someone hired by a competitor around this time there was plenty of other people also working with photography and filming moving pictures and the main person suspected of this is Thomas Edison Edison was also working on creating moving pictures at the time. However, 
Edison wasn't as advanced in this as Le Prince and it is thought that he wanted to get ahead and would possibly murder for it. Since Louis was on his way to file a patent which would have made him the father of cinematography it would have been the perfect time for a competitor to get rid of him especially since Louis's widow would have to wait seven years to file his patents giving Edison plenty of time to file his own. In 1898 Le Prince's son Adolphe was called as a witness in a case to prove that Edison was not in fact the creator of the first motion picture camera. Um, I'm not going to go into this bit in detail but the case wasn't successful I don't think. Funnily enough Adolphe who had worked with his father on his inventions and had produced proof at this trial that his father had indeed created these things before Edison was found dead two years later after apparently going duck shooting in New York well it could have been an accident but it's very interesting don't you think one of the only people who had proof that Edison did not invent this first died a couple of years later. Before I move on to the next theory I just want to mention this. I was reading an article on Science Direct which states that a University of New York student found a book which apparently belonged to Edison and in an entry dated 20th of September 1890 he found this entry which reads Eric called me today from Dijon. It has been done. Prince is no more. This is good news, but I flinched when he told me. Murder is not my thing. I'm an inventor and my inventions for moving images can now move forward. If that's true, that is pretty damning evidence that Edison did in fact hire someone called Eric. Or... Eric was involved in this. I don't know who Eric is supposed to be. Very interesting though. So the second theory I'm going to talk about is that the prince simply committed suicide. Apparently he was on the verge of bankruptcy according to some sources and according to his brother's grandson. However there's not proof to support this theory. There's no proof whatsoever really as his business was doing very well and was profitable and he was on his way to file a, pa a patent which would place him in the history books and possibly make him millions of pounds. So, The third theory is that he was murdered by his brother Albert. Albert was the only person to see him board the train from Dijon to Paris. And no one on the train apparently even saw him. No one at all the whole way. Which would be very unusual because Louis was a very large man and he was very tall. So if there's no one to notice him it would be strange. This theory states that Albert may have killed Louis over a disagreement about their mother's will. I can't actually find much information about why he would have done this but perhaps Albert was in financial trouble himself and really needed the money. I just don't know. I can't really find much. So the fourth and final theory suggested that his disappearance was planned by his family and him and that he disappeared because of financial problems and that he may have been homosexual. Like, there's no proof at all to support that, uh, but I just thought I'd mention it anyway. And that's all the theories. This man just vanished. No one knows where he is. No bodies have been found. He's just gone. So that concludes the mysterious disappearance of the father of cinematography, Louis Le Prince. He was declared dead in 1897 and still 
to this day, 129 years later, it is unknown what happened to him. It's quite sad. So, before I go, what theory do you believe? Personally, I think that Edison had something to do with it. Apparently, he wasn't the nicest man. And he did a lot of shady stuff throughout his life. In fact, I'll link one of Kendall Ray's videos below because she's done videos on Nikola Tesla and Edison's involvement with trying to ruin Nikola Tesla. So I think if you watch that, you'll see exactly what kind of person Edison was. And I really think he would be capable of murder. Maybe not himself, but hiring someone else to kill for him. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is my third true crime video. And the most in-depth that I've done so far. I've always been interested in Louis Le Prince after I saw an exhibition at Armley Mills which had some of his cameras and played his films and so I've always had his name in the back of my mind and I thought today I'd share information about his disappearance with you. So until next time, goodbye.